Hello everyone, I'm really glad to see you here in my channel. My name is Miriam and today I'm going to show you some tutorial of uh, crocheted bunny. And this is the first part of my videos. And today I'm going to show you how to crochet bunny's head. So let's start. We're going to need some um, yarn. Of course, <laughs> and we're, I'm using this white um, and very soft yarn, which is 100% acrylic. I'm using this type of um, yarn for my toys. Um, we're gonna need a hook. I need four millimeter hook, and you can choose, of course, um, whatever you need. Um, depends, and it depends on the yarn you are using some scissors, some other yarn, and some pins for eyes, and some markers. So let's start with the cycle. And the cycle is um, made of six stitches, uh, single crochet stitches. So it's one, it's the first, first stitch, that's why I'm gonna mark it. The marking is very useful thing, I'm gonna say, and I highly recommend you to um, mark the first stitches, whichever project you are starting. So we're gonna have six stitches here in a cycle. Here we go, and now we are closing the cycle. And we have already six stitches here. And now, uh, it, maybe if you are do, have done um, other projects, maybe you were um, closing the hook, uh, cl closing the chain, but I'm not doing it. And that's why I always need to mark the first stitch. And now I'm going to double um, the stitches so it was six in the first row and now it's we have to make it 12 from one stitch we are having two stitches in the second row this is how we're going to do it I hope um, I'm telling you everything clearly <laughs> so, and the last stitch 11 and 12 so we have 12 stitches in the second row and we have to um, make 12 18 row 18 stitches in the third row so the first one and I'm gonna mark it of course from the second stitch I'm going to have two stitches one stitch one single crochet and from the second one two so this is a very easy way to remember what we're gonna do so from starting to from the third row we're gonna have one stitch from one and two stitch from the second and after that we're gonna add six stitches in every row for example in the fourth row we're gonna have one one two that means from one stitch we're gonna have one from the second one from the third we're gonna have two stitches and you will see how easy it will become if when you don't count every time so here we go, the third row, and after this we're gonna make um, fourth row, fifth row, like um, as much as you need to continue and make bigger the head. The head depends on how um, bigger you are making this first rows. So this is my fourth row, one, two. And from the third, I'm gonna have two stitches, double stitches. So it's 18 plus six, 
equals 24 some mats for you <laughs> and we're gonna have 24 stitches in the fourth row of course you can write somewhere write down somewhere and make um make for make some notes for yourself Again, I'm having one from the second, so one stitch, and from the third, I'm gonna have two stitches. So in the fifth row, it's gonna be um, three stitches with one, and the fourth stitch from the fourth stitch, we're gonna have two stitches. So many stitches. <laughs> okay, so the fourth row is done. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than I always do. The head, um, it's gonna be um, 20 or 25 centimeters, um, um, be, uh, centimeter um, rabbit bunny, but it's gonna be cute. So this is the fifth row and you can see from the first one stitch, from the second one stitch, from the third one stitch, and from the fourth I'm gonna have two stitches and so till the end of the row. Gonna say that this is a really nice yarn I'm using, very soft, and I always use um, acrylic or cotton yarn for my um, amigurumi, amigurumi projects um, because it's quite nice. The the toys are um, becoming really nice in the end. And we're also going to have the second and third part of this video where I'm going to show you how to crochet the body and some nice dresses for our bunny. So subscribe to my channel to see the other videos also. So the fifth row, you can see it becomes bigger so you can continue crocheting until you uh, see how um, good it is for you. And also you can add six stitches in every row. So I'm gonna make like seven or seven, maybe seven uh, rows. I'm gonna, as I said, I want to make it a little bit bigger. So you can see uh, the result of adding stitches in every row. I have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven rows as I said already and now I'm gonna stage this is the second part of uh, our work so we are going to um, crochet this part without increasing or decreasing loops and stitches so here we have um, normal row starting with a marker and we're going to have from every stitch, from every loop, just one a loop without adding um, or decreasing, without increasing and decreasing. And also the uh, middle, um, instant middle sized um, heads or um, toys, we always make five or six rows. Of course it depends on what what he wants to make. For my bunny I'm making um, five stitch five rows. And as you can see by 
crocheting while crocheting you can see how uh, it becomes round um, like a cycle becomes round and when you end um, your fifth row you can see how um, a nice round a nice um, ball like um, sculpture I really enjoy um, crocheting toys because you can see how just yarn and some tool becomes a really nice um, endurable toy or something which has uh, kind of a so I really enjoy it I hope you will like um, this process as much as I do so we are ending the first row and we're gonna continue this type of crocheting so without increasing or decreasing just crocheting um, as many rows as you wish uh, for the bunny I'm doing five rows here we go so you can see already five rows I marked the first row to show you one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now this is the third part of crocheting the head and most difficult maybe for beginners, but there is no difficulty because I'm gonna show you how to do it really easy. So uh, we're gonna decrease stitches so one, two. If you made seven rows uh, like me, three, four, five, six, and we don't make a stitch in seven. We're doing this together. So um, it's gonna be like the number of your rows. If you have seven rows, that means your sixth and seventh loops are going to be crocheted together and that will make the decrease. And if you have, for example, five rows at the beginning, your fourth and fifth stitches are going to be crocheted together. If you have like nine um, rows, your eighth and ninth stitches are going to be crocheted together. And this is how we are doing our decrease. You can also count to see how it works. So this is my sixth and seventh stitches. Here we go, the third one, a normal stitch, two, three, four, five, so the sixth I'm not crocheting and seven together. And like this to the end of the row. Here we go. So this is the first row of decrease, decreasement, decreasing. Sorry for my English, guys. Um, I know it's not perfect, but I'm trying. So one, two. This, this is the second row. Three. Four. 
and fifth. So you can see it becomes, uh, because it looks like a ball now. Two, three. You can count with me. Four. you are doing well well crush it in if you need time just pause the video and go on until you get to the point and right now I know how it is enjoyable to crochet with someone um, this is really nice the process how we uh, crocheters are doing it together so I will be really quite glad to see your works in the end. I hope you will comment and you will tell me how it is going and maybe you can share some pictures with me. Last stitches of this row. So the next you can see like the third and fourth stitches will be crocheted together until the end when you will have six stitches. Now I'm, I left 12 stitches here because I'm going to, uh, I'm going to add some um, Sintipa here, that's why I'm going to left 12 stitches one and then I mark the first loop it's really yeah, really helps marking because uh, when you are not closing the, the, the loop as new uh, sometimes you can't find the beginning or ending um, stitches so you can see one normal stitch and the second and third are crocheted together and we are going to make, um, this is how we make like 12 stitches in a row. Um, I left in 12 because I need to add some Sintipa here and six stitches are really narrow so I can do it and I will show you how to make it six in a little bit later. how we are going to the end this is fantastic how you see uh, your work is doing during the short amount of time so you, we have now 12 stitches in the last um, row we've crocheted and we have a round head like um, ball so I'm gonna make this, um, use these pins as eyes. They're really nice, I really like them. Um, so I'll just put it some, somewhere I really like, like it, you can choose the expression of the face. Um, Yeah, similarly I'm doing the second eye so you can see it looks really nice and I choose just um, the direction 
and I'll put the second one. It already is really cute. I'm going to make a nose. This is some kind of a mouth of um, our bunny. Here we go, you can see already how cute it is. Okay, and the second. A nice buddy, yeah. And I'm going to have some lashes because I'm making a, my bunny is a girl. And she's going to have some nice dresses. So I'm adding some lashes to show you how pretty and how cute she is. Um, just um, I'm going to give you an advice as a person who is um, has crocheted in toys for a really long time and who learn, who've learned uh, just by herself all this stuff. Uh, just not try to uh, make everything look really um, perfect because it won't work um, because everything, every imperfection of your work is quite nice and it makes every toy just really um, individual and they all have something nice and amazing in every um, mistake you are making so you can see my bunny uh, a very nice girl she's going to be a really nice toy in the end i'm i'm thinking <laughs> and after adding some centipa i'm going to make my bunny's uh, ears i'm not going to comment this because we're starting just the same way with six stitches in a cycle and after that I'm going to add more six stitches so it's gonna be 12, um, 12 loops in a row and I'm gonna have a crochet like six um, five rows and then add more six stitches and also um, crocheted some five rows and after that I'm going to decrease again to 12 and uh, crochet more six stitches and after that I'm going to close this and end the ears They are going to have be two ears. This is how I am ending the ear. I'm not using any kind of centipede in ears because I like them to be flat. Of course, you can try another color. For example, you can use pink, you can uh, switch colors, that would be, look really nice, I think. And I just sew them on the head of my bunny. And I'm using my really nice um, scissors 
and here we go this is it our bunny and this is the end of the first video thank you please feel free to comment subscribe and like the video and wait for the second part of it thank you this it, it was Marion with you I was really really glad and I hope you had fun with me and you enjoyed the crocheting process and my voice and <laughs> apologies for my English and all the other things I'm saying not right but I hope that sharing all of the all the process will help you to become more um, confident with crocheting and especially with amigurumi so thank you uh, watch the second part and the third uh, and have a good day bye